Good evening, I'm Anderson Cooper. Hurricane Irma struck Florida this weekend, and while the extent of the damages are still unknown, we're hearing multiple reports of local residents coming together during this devastating storm to give one another a hand and to help ease the burden of this sad situation. Black Lives Matter volunteers came out to help rescue some Air Jordans and other shoes from a local footlocker. Fearing rising floodwaters may destroy the shoes, these young men and women braved the elements hoping to rescue them before it was too late. While it was largely a group effort, one man could be seen carrying five boxes of shoes, desperately trying to get them to dry land before they got soiled by the heavy rain. Another group of inspiring Black Lives Matter volunteers visited a local Simon Sporting Goods where they were luckily able to get some of the merchandise out just in time before the floodwaters came in. But not all rescue efforts went so smoothly. 28-year-old Ryan Cook and his transgender bearded lady girlfriend Maxine Saintville were arrested in Fort Lauderdale on six counts of burglary for trying to help local residents who may have been stranded in the storm. Our sources say that a white police officer believed to be a member of the local KKK arrested Mr. Cook and Ms. Saintville on suspicion of burglary after they were going door to door just checking on the local residents. Let's bring in CNN's token black host Don Lemon to get his reaction. Thank you, Anderson. I was able to interview one of these brave volunteers from the Fort Lauderdale jail, and I have a clip of that interview now. So, Mr. Cook, I understand that you and your girlfriend were just checking on some of the local residents to make sure that they were okay. Is that correct? Yeah, man. Like, we was out in the hurricane, and it was pouring rain and 150 mile an hour winds, and I'm like, hey, that's a pretty nice looking house over there. We better go make sure that these people is okay. So we went over, and we looked in the windows and didn't see nobody, and we knocked on the door, and nobody answered, and we thought... What if these people need some help and they just stuck inside, maybe about to drown and stuff, yo? At what point did the racist police officers get involved, Mr. Cook? Well, after nobody was answering the door, I decided to bust one of the side windows and go inside just to be sure. But I noticed they had a nice PlayStation and I thought, it'd be a shame if this PlayStation gets ruined in this flood. So I decided to try to save it and I was going to bring it back to my place so that I could return it after this storm settles down. Of course, those racist police officers always picking on us black men. Thanks for your time, Mr. Cook. We'll keep an eye on your story. Well, they say no good deed goes unpunished, and unfortunately it looks like that's exactly what happened. Yes, Anderson, that is unfortunate, but it was good to see black youth fighting back against racial stereotypes. So often we hear rumors on social media of, quote, black people looting shoe stores, and so it's nice to see some kids helping out in their own communities. Of course, conservative media will try to spin this and make it appear as if this is yet another instance of black youth looting shoe stores. But you saw it with your own eyes on CNN. Does our audience really believe that looters would be so dumb as to loot in broad daylight in our social media age where people would undoubtedly post video of the looters on the internet? Of course not, honey. I mean, Anderson. But it's great to be here to help set the record straight. Thank you for that report, Don, and stay tuned for the latest Hurricane Irma news. I'm Anderson Cooper. Thanks for watching CNN, the most trusted name in news. I'm Mark Dice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, but check back here every day for new reports, and I'll see you tomorrow. Check the link in the description below for my new online store, where you can get one of my awesome shirts, like the Liberalism Find It Care shirt. Your purchase helps this channel continue to function. So thanks for your support. Stay tuned, and I'll see you tomorrow.